Welcome to To Enable Help for Android. After you install the application on your device, uh, it will open with a list of subjects as displayed. Uh, this is being demonstrated on a mobile phone, so it might look slightly different if you're using a tablet. Uh, what to access a subject is you select the subject of your choice, so I'm selecting mathematics, and you will notice that we have completed some grades for mathematics, not all of them. It is a work in progress. And if you do have better resources than what we have, please feel free to contribute them to to enable, uh, as we will add these to our to the platform and make them available to everybody at no cost. Obviously, then select your the, the grade you're interested in, and we've aligned all the content uh, in a weekly in weekly steps. And um, if I select week seven equations and inequalities. Within week seven, there are many videos and PDF documents. Things to notice is, is uh, there is an introduction. There should be an introduction in, in, e in each week, and the introduction tells you what the caps, the outcomes for the caps document for that week. And these are the resources that are obviously there to uh, meet the outcomes for the caps document. What you can do is you can then select the resource that you wish to view. So uh, there's an MP4 and uh, it's telling me I can play this online. Do I want to play it over the internet? Play online. You'll notice it is in red. It's telling us that play online is going to be using data. So if I take a step back, you'll notice take assessment is in red. It's going to be using data. And this is where these icons in the top right hand corner become important. So a red dot means you are online and connected to the internet. And um, when you hit a red play button or a red display button, it means that it will be using internet data to access that resource. So if I take you back to uh, the home page, what we can do is we can swipe across a, a administrator menu and there's a hub setting uh, option. And in the hub setting option, you will notice that I'm, I'm going to ignore what's at the top to begin with. There's a hub connectivity check, which is telling me to check to a local computer. And there's an internet connectivity check. So that's what we've been seeing now with the red dots. So if I switch that off, basically what it's going to be doing is it's going to be saying to me, I'm not connected to the internet. I don't want to go to life orientation. We'll go back to mathematics. I don't want to be connected to the internet and I don't want to check my hub. So it comes up with a red ring. And a red ring means you are offline. So you are not using data and you are not connected to a hub. So if I go and I select a week, you will notice everything that is available online is now uh, is not available. So if I select one of these to watch, it's going to say, please connect to the internet so I can access it online, or please connect to it to enable server so I can access it over Wi-Fi. And um, you'll also notice that I cannot take an assessment at this point. So if we navigate a bit further up, and I don't have to go the whole way, if I come to hub settings and I decide I'm now going to switch on a hub connectivity check. So what this means is it's going to say, it's, it's saying to the app, please go and have a look on a specific computer to see if the content is residing there within my network. And the computer it's going to check is the computer which is detailed above in this area. So the IP address of the computer that hosts their content is entered in here. And there's obviously a username and password to access uh, content on that on that device. And um, you may need to change this uh, depending on uh, where you're accessing the content. There is a default setting, so if you forget the password or you change the password, you can always uh, select default settings and it will restore it to the, de to the default space. Okay, so this is the correct address for the computer that I'm connecting to. And I now got hub connectivity check on. So if I get rid of that and I go back to grade 10 mathematics, what you will notice is that this becomes a green circle. So a green circle tells me that I am now connected to a hub. And being connected to a hub means I'm using Wi-Fi to connect to another computer in my network. I'm not using data, which is why it is in green. So if we go back to equations and inequalities, you'll see take assessment is not available because take assessment needs you to be online. There needs to be a red dot there for you to take an assessment. 
but we can access these, these resources because these resources are available on the server okay this is a local server i'm not using internet it is showing me the button in green this, everything in green means i'm not using internet i'm just using it over the local wi-fi network so that is quite a major game change uh, because it means we can access this content without using data and if i go back to hub settings just so we can understand what happens if i have both access to a hub and have access to the internet what is then going to happen is i'm not going to have a green circle anymore when it decides to wake itself up it's going to give me a green circle telling me i am connected to a hub and a red dot which tells me i am connected to the internet which means i can take the assessment so that is a brief explanation over how to set up and access content and to understand the various states of connectivity if it's red you, you you are using internet data if it is green you are not um, one last thing if you are not anywhere near a hub i'm going to that was a mistake hub settings if you are not near a hub i suggest you switch your hub connection off otherwise it'll keep trying to find this computer and it'll slow your application down so if you go home switch that off um, obviously if you're at home and you've got data it would be uh, makes sense to keep that on because you can then do the assessments uh, but if you're at school and your school has got a hub and if they don't have a hub you need to ask them to get a hub so you can access the, a lot of the content without using data. You then switch that on at school and it will then connect to that, uh, that computer that has all that, that data. So that is a brief overview and I hope that has been uh, helpful. And um, please uh, check into the next uh, help video to understand what else you can do with this application because uh, there's still quite a lot more.